Hey, welcome to Cody the Car Guy. We've got a 2012 Silverado here, and we're going to be doing a brake job on it. This is the Texas edition, but it's pretty much the same on the others. Uh, 19 millimeter on your bottom bolt. I usually just use an adjustable to hold the one bolt still right here. Let's get the one out of the way. Now, once you remove the 19 millimeter bolt out of there, now before I actually lift it up, Take a flat edge screwdriver. I'll come in actually in between the caliper and the actual rotor and I'll pull back and that actually pushes the pistons back into the caliper. Makes it a lot easier for you. Now once you get it free like that, all you're going to do is just literally sit it up, flip it up just like that. Take something, pop these guys out. Not too, too bad. It was just starting to touch the marks. Make a squeal noise. Now, if you're having trouble getting it to slide out, make sure that the very tip right here, this little uh, tab right there, if it's bent down, it's not going to let you get the actual pad out. So at that point, the pad is out. It's time to get the new ones in. You have one that's got the little squeal marker on it. Squeal tab. You want one squeal tab on one side. You have one of these right here, and then you can have one that's regular without one. So it really doesn't matter what side it goes on, as long as one on each side has one. Slide your new pad in. This is the one that was giving me a fit. All right, at that point, um, you know, some people grease them up, the grease attracts brake dust, it, you know, it's kind of like one of those things, but I've never really had any problems with that. These already have the anti-squeal, you know, shims on the back, so everything's good. Literally at that point, make sure everything slides over just right. It's a tight fit, sometimes you can come right back in here. And the other side, the one thing you want to make sure is pump up your brakes, so that way you, uh, Get the pistons pushed back to the pads. At that point, that's changed your brake pads on your Chevy Silverado. I hope that helps you guys. I'll catch you on the next one. 159 videos. Oh.